What is the equivalent of Apple Remove 3? 5mm jack of your favorite products? Google News was great at the beginning. Every single change made to it by Google has made it worse. Also, there's no alternative to Google News that does a good job of aggregating a variety of reporting viewpoints on a single news topic. Edit, this got some attention overnight. Thanks for everyone who came up with suggestions to replace Google News. The award. And upvotes. I care about keeping myself informed and getting multiple sides of a story, which Google News used to be a great tool for. It warms my heart to see many people feel the same way. In Australia, Beans removed the classic 420g can of baked beans and replaced it with three different sizes, none of which are the appropriate amount of beans. I no longer eat Beans beans. Miller welding machines having slightly different threads on welding tips, a consumable part, so that you are forced to buy Miller brand welding tips. Several times I've found myself out in the field, nearly done, and the tip gets clogged. It's a quick easy fix, if you have a replacement tip. Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace, all the big box stores carry regular tips, but they don't carry Miller. I have to drive to a specialty welding store to get the Miller tip, because I live in a big city, and there are only a few of these stores in the city. Chances are they are far away. There is no chance in hell I can get across town and get back to the job to finish. My day is done. These parts cost maybe a quarter. Fucking hate when companies don't conform to industry standards. Apps that had no need for a subscription now requiring a subscription or eat. This is by orders of magnitude the largest response I've ever had on Reddit and it all centered around our mutual hatred of something. So blessed. Thank you for the rewards. I need them to buy insulin. I'm not diabetic I just like the taste. Many years ago on Zbox 360 you could watch Netflix with your homies. Your avatars would show up in a movie theater and you could even emote to the movie. So many good times were, had just bullshitting watching random shitty Netflix movies back then. Then out of nowhere. They just took it away. I still get sad thin iking about it. I searched this whole thread. And I don't see a big one. Craftsmen altering the lifetime warranty of their hand tools so much, so that it's a shell of what it used to be. There was a time not so long ago you could take any busted craftsman tool, no matter where you got it, or how you broke it, and get it swapped out. It truly was a tool for life. Can't do that anymore. I have severe skin allergies, so finding soaps and cosmetics that don't cause irritation is difficult. When I find something that works, the worst thing ever is seeing new and improved formula stamped on the bottle. My favorite frozen pizza brand used to have round pizzas that were packaged in a cardboard box that could be used to slide the pizza onto and then be used as a plate. No fuss. No mess. Now, it is a frozen rectangle in a bag. The shame totterness. The shamoe. Edit. Words. Most CD booklets don't have much artwork anymore. I used to listen to albums whilst looking at the artwork and reading the lyrics. Very few albums have that now. YouTube has been pushing a lot more ads on to me recently. Cable and internet providers are the masters of constantly providing less and trying to charge more for it. The originals box let you rip CDs to the hard drive so you could have custom soundtracks in a lot of games. Burnout and GTA 3 slash Vice City slash San Andreas were so much fun with your own killer soundtrack. Google vanished Google Music in favor of Yahtub Music. This and starting to charge for Google Photos all around the same time. I had all my stuff on there. Luckily I'm somewhat technically savvy and this pushed me to set up an ass with Plex and consolidate all my stuff. Taco Bell removing all potato related items from their lunch menu months ago. Cars tying radios to the rest of the functionality of the car. Killing off any chance of replacing a stock unit with a third party. Pro Tools killed support for my physical mixing console. That they manufactured. Cadbury Dairy Milk no longer exists. The recipe is the product. You can't change the recipe and expect us not to notice. Shrinkflation isn't even a problem if the recipe hadn't been changed. CDM is supposed to have a slight crumble, but it is now a squidgy palm oil filled mess. 
Minecraft slash Mondelez have adulterated something that, although not gourmet was a gold standard of the mass market. It is now just cheap crap like everything else. Nobody asked for this. I was willing to pay the slight premium. But boosting revenue by cutting costs on ingredient was more important to you. Along with that is being lied to are faced by corporate non-entities who claim it is the same. I remember. When they started removing i from mobile phones, Samsung products, in my case, so I could no longer use them with TV remote apps to control different TVs. Wikipedia removing the trivia section of articles. Word going subscription based. I don't care about the latest and greatest features. I just want a word processor. I've got it via a family sharing thing. But it seems to forget yearly and nags me to pay edit. Yes. I'm aware of alternatives. I mostly use Google Docs. But had to open it up. So I could make a document start page numbering on page 4 for reasons. Laptops have less and less i slash o. I gets being replaced with docs. But that kinda defeats the purpose of a laptop in the first place. Adobe products becoming subscription based. I want to just pay once for Adobe Photoshop not every single month. Spotify removing a lot of features. Particularly the ability to view the entire eti of your library sorted however you like. Sortable libraries are such a basic feature of music services and they just fine ditched it. Now when you view your library it's just a mix of played recently and whatever Spotify decides to show you. To add insult to irritability. 9 times out of 10 searching your own library doesn't yield results. Even when you have songs downloaded. They've been actively making the service worse for years now. But finding a replacement has been disappointing. Adobe Creative Suite going subscription based. F you. I'm not paying for this every month. When Samsung did the same. Or when EA decided to go back to individual blocks instead of entire neighborhoods for The Sims 4. Cars with no spare tire. Many new cars with no dipstick to check the oil. Downward spiral of not being able to fix your own things is outrageous. But people keep buying this shit. Back in my day, just even backslash backslash, three years ago, you were able to buy smartphones where the user could easily remove the battery and replace it themselves. Broke my LG G5 at the time. The last LG phone with a removable battery by owner and went with a Samsung S20. That LG lasted me 3, 5 years until I dropped it and broke its screen. When my battery started losing its charge quickly, I bought another battery from the retailer and it was practically good as new. Samsung proudly said that they wouldn't remove the charger from their new phones like Apple. And they did just that with the S21 apparently. The cars I had so far all had a traditional parking brake lever. It took me a few weeks to trust the electronic parking brake. Oh man. I hate these electronic parking brakes. I actually had one fail on me. But in the opposite way. I was parked and couldn't leave because it failed to disengage. For whatever reason it decided to just stay engaged and was stuck like that for a full 5 minutes before randomly disengaging and working properly again. Made me late lol. Netflix forces me to watch previews when I don't want to watch them. New Reddit removing the ability to quickly read comment chains. Finding the permalink. Being able to quickly go to the parent comment. Being able to go to someone profile during an hour and easily read their Q&As, now you can't even see what people are responding to without clicking the comment. Removing pretty much everything that made Reddit functional on your mobile phone. Really every design change Reddit made in the last 5 years. Search engine results are more advertising than useful information. Old Lego Club magazines. I remember when I first got them as a kid I would flip through the catalog pages of all the available sets. There were specific ads for themes as well as comic books. But the set catalog was why I was there. Then in 2010 or 2011, I do not remember. They got rid of the catalog portions, which made the magazines pretty fat, and only left the ads, announcements and comics. I liked flipping through the pages and seeing all the sets and prices. Hell. That was how I made my Christmas and birthday wish lists. Edit. Thanks for the silver. 
I don't know how I keep forgetting that LEGO is still very popular. Edit. 2. This has definitely become my most popular comment ever. COD multiplayer lobbies are no more. It resets every match. After the match. Those players are gone. The better graphics aren't worth what we lost. The old toys from about 15 years ago in the metal tin that weren't just powdery mints, but little candies coated in powdered sugar. I realized one day I never saw them anywhere anymore, and haven't been the same since. Apple removed the SD card slot on MacBook Pro. As a photographer why? It didn't even take up any internal space. And this is supposed to be a tool for creative professionals. I haven't upgraded my 7 year old pro, because I'm just holding out hope that they put one back in there. Maybe it just gets snuck back in, and Tim Cook doesn't notice. Question mark?